Teachers make a big difference. This is one of my favorite stories because I know firsthand what it's like to be a troubled child and finding it difficult to be successful in school. But when a new teacher arrived in my fourth grade class, that all changed. She saw how troubled I was, so she decided to make a difference in my life. And one day she handed me an empty journal and she told me to write. And I have been writing ever since. My name is Nora Goodman, and I'm a teacher, a published writer, and a freelance journalist. This is the story. As she stood in front of her fifth grade class on the first day of school, she told the children a little lie. Like most teachers, she looked at her students and said that she loved all of them the same. However, that was impossible because there in the first row, slumped in his seat, was a little boy named Mike Peterson. Mrs. Thompson had watched Mike the year before and noticed that he did not play well with the other children and that his clothes were messy and that he constantly needed a bath. In addition, Mike could be unpleasant. It got to the point where Mrs. Thompson would actually take delight in making his, marking his papers with a broad red pin, making bold X's and then putting a big F at the top of his papers. At the, at the school where Mrs. Thompson taught, she was required to review each child's past records and she put off Mike's until the last. However, when she finally reviewed his file, she was in for a big surprise. Mike's first grade teacher wrote, Mike is a bright child and easy to please. He does his work neatly and has good manners. He is a joy to be around. His second grade teacher wrote, Mike is an excellent student, well liked by his classmates, but he is troubled because his mother has terminal illness and life at home must be a struggle. His third grade teacher wrote, his mother's death has been hard on him. He tries to do his best, but his father doesn't show much interest and his home life will soon affect him if some steps aren't taken. Mike's fourth grade teacher wrote, Mike is withdrawn and doesn't show much interest in school. He doesn't have many friends and he sometimes sleeps in class. By now, Mrs. Thompson realized the problem and she was ashamed of herself. She felt even worse when her students brought her Christmas presents wrapped in beautiful ribbons and bright paper, except for Mike's. His present was clumsily wrapped in a heavy brown paper bag that he got from a grocery store. Mrs. Thompson painfully opened it in front of the students. Then some of the children started to laugh when she found a rhinestone bracelet with some of those stones missing and a bottle of half-used perfume. But she hushed the children's laughter when she explained how pretty the bracelet was while putting it on and dabbling some of the perfume on her wrist. Mike Peterson stayed after school that day just long enough to say, Mrs. Thompson, today you smell just like my mom used to. After the children left, she cried for at least an hour. On that day, she quit teaching, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Instead, she began to teach children. Mrs. Thompson paid particular attention to Mike. As she worked with him, his mind seemed to come alive. The more she encouraged him, the faster he responded. By the end of the year, Mike had become one of the smartest children in the class. And despite her lie that she would love all the children the same, Mike became one of her teacher's pets. A year later, she found a note under her door from Mike telling her that she was still the best teacher he had ever had in his whole life. Six years went by before she got another note from Mike. He then wrote that he had finished high school, third in his class, and that she st was still the best teacher he had ever had in life. Four years after that, she got another letter stating that while things had been tough at times, he'd stayed in school. He'd stuck it out and would soon graduate from college with the highest of honors. He assured Mrs. Thompson that she was still the best and favorite teacher he had ever had in his whole life. 
Then four years later passed, and yet another letter arrived. This time, he explained that after he got his bachelor's degree, he decided to go further. The letter exclaimed that she was still the best and favorite teacher he had ever had, but now his name was a little longer. The letter was signed Michael R. Peterson, M.D. The story does not end there. You see, there was yet another letter that spring. Mike said he'd met a gir this girl and was going to be married. He explained that his father had died a couple of years ago and he was wondering if Mrs. Thompson might agree to sit at the wedding in place that was usually reserved for the mother of the groom. Of course, Mrs. Thompson did. And guess what? She wore that bracelet, the one with several rhinestones missing. Moreover, she made sure that she was wearing the perfume that Mike remembered his mother wearing on their last Christmas together. They hugged each other, and Dr. Peterson whispered in Mrs. Thompson's ear, Thank you, Mrs. Thompson, for believing in me. Thank you so much for making me feel important and showing me that I could make a difference. Mrs. Thompson, with tears in her eyes, whispered back. She said, Mike, you have it all wrong. You were the one who taught me that I could make a difference. I didn't know how to teach until I met you.